So I have a pretty big announcement that I wanna share with you guys that I think we've all been waiting for. The Extrusion Overland XTR1 bed rack has finally arrived. I have all the parts right here and ready to be installed on the Maverick. Before we get to that, I wanted to put together just this real quick unboxing video for you guys. There's a whole bunch of groups and uh, different forums that I'm a part of on Facebook. And one of those groups is, is specifically centered around these Extrusion Overland bed racks. And I see a lot of you guys asking questions about how these things are packaged, what comes in the box, how they're shipped, how long is the wait time, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to answer some of those questions for you guys today. So the very first thing that I, I wanna share with you guys is you can see that there are two separate packages here. And that's probably one of the biggest questions that I see people have is, is how is this stuff actually shipped? So they typically will ship this stuff in multiple different packages that sometimes do arrive at different times. I think I got my two packages uh, probably like three or four days apart. But what you're gonna have essentially is going to be one shipment that's going to include the uh, extruded aluminum bars, which is what this is. And then you're gonna have another shipment that's going to include all of the hardware and the brackets and all that stuff. Um, depending on the vehicle that you have, whether you have like a full-size truck with an eight foot bed or whatever um, that's gonna obviously dictate dictate how long um, you know this box here is how big this box is um, of course that's also gonna dictate how many actual pieces of the frame for the rack you have so you might get a couple different shipments of this you might get a larger box um, and you also might end up getting more hardware depending on the size of your racks but in this case for the Maverick um, it looks like it comes in just two shipments one for the bars and one for the hardware I do want to just make a note of how well they actually package this stuff so they just bundled everything together nice and tight and they put some big um, almost like pallet corners on here um, just really thick hard um, cardboard on all four corners and then they went ahead and just completely wrapped this thing and taped it up so uh, really well protected which I'm really happy to see because this is not a cheap uh, rack by any means so it's cool that they actually take the time to make sure it, it makes it to its destination unharmed the the box that has hardware and it is just your normal uh, shipping box and they kind of just put everything in there with some bubble wrap or whatever But I do also want to note that they taped this up really well and they actually taped around it um, Because obviously there's gonna be some small screws and and brackets and that kind of stuff that could easily slip through the, the edges of the box and get lost in shipping So it's nice to see that they actually took the time to wrap this thing up and make sure that none of those screws have a chance to Come out any little holes or anything All right, Let's go ahead and cut into this guys. I'm just gonna take this and just kind of cut this off and I want to be careful here too um, it looks like this is kind of just relatively thin cardboard so I'm gonna cut it kind of an angle and keep that blade pressed into the edge of the uh, the thicker cardboard that way we don't break through and cut the rack we'll go ahead and get that stuff off come down here got a section of tape there and a section of tape down here They've really got this thing wrapped up pretty good. That's that's really nice to see, honestly. Like I said, I wasn't sure what to expect, but they they actually really seem to take the time and wrap this thing up, make sure it doesn't get damaged. Not a lot of companies do that these days, unfortunately. And then it looks like once you get this thing open, um, we've got probably our insulation instructions right there, maybe. And then um, it's also wrapped up again so all the individual bars are actually wrapped up with the ends taped and everything so i do want to point out too one thing i was worried about was going to be the uh, the corners down here getting banged around but they actually have cardboard that um kind of corners around the entire uh, end of it down here and protects those corners so uh that's that's really really cool So there we go. Um, we got everything taken out of the packaging and there is a ton of packaging, man. I mean, they, they definitely do not skimp out on packaging. It took me a good like five minutes to peel all this stuff open, which is awesome to see. I mean, this stuff is in perfect condition. Corners aren't banged up or anything. Um, so really a good job with the packaging there. 
Um, and this is this is all the bars for the Maverick. So obviously the Maverick has a really short and small bed, so there isn't going to be a lot of bars. Um, longer trucks, like like I said, if you have like an eight foot bed or something, I know like for uh, for like the Gladiator and, and similar racks that they make for other trucks, they're actually going to have a uh, like a center upright piece because the truck bed is so much longer. So there's going to be more uh, metal extrusions, but for the Maverick, this is all we got here. Um, we've got our four upright pieces, also called the columns. So I went with the 16 inch high ones. I want these to uh, pretty much match the, the roof height of the Maverick. So 16 inches should be just about perfect for my application. So we've got four of those. Um, these ones here, these should be the side braces, I believe. These are the longer ones. So we've got two side braces, and then we should have two of the uh, the main support bars that go across. So the cross bars, and then we should have two of the uh, top support bars here as well. So super simple and straightforward. This should be a pretty, pretty simple installation process, I would think. All right, and then we'll go ahead and get this opened up here too. So I'm gonna be kind of careful with this because again, I, I don't know what's inside this box, so I don't wanna cut into anything. Comes open pretty easy. Exactly what I figured it would look like. We've just got some, some kind of wrapping in here. And it's nice to see too, all these brackets and everything are, are wrapped up real nice. So they're not just banging around in there. Bed rail brackets here probably more bed rail probably the other ones here um this stuff looks like it's packaged pretty well man i mean this stuff is, is wrapped up really good they had a lot of foam and stuff in between so the stuff isn't just clanking around and the fitment in the box with these brackets like how they had it in there was really good so it doesn't really have much room to move around and, and like clank together and, and ruin it so that's really nice to see so it looks like we've got our our t-nuts that are, are probably going to be used to hold everything together uh, what else we got in here we got a bunch of stuff uh looks like we've got our joint plates so four of those and then of course we have all the hardware so we're going to have uh some of the long bolts these are going to be the hex head ones we've got the smaller ones I'm not sure what those are for yet but i'm sure we're going to find out got some more brackets there and these are going to be the corner joints brackets it looks like got some more hardware down here some more hex head stuff and then really the only other thing in this in this box here is uh looks like we actually got some loctite so that's kind of cool um looks like we've got an extrusion overland badge got two of them right there and then i think this is also going to be a, a velcro patch that they included so that's pretty cool man um we got the shipping manifest that has every single piece that is included in the box um the only thing that i'm not seeing is uh, gonna be instructions. So it doesn't look like they're including a paper copy of the instructions, which isn't a big deal. Um, if you go right to Extrusion Overland's website, um, you can go to uh, the, the PDF of the instructions for all of their, their different bed racks that they do. Um, so they've got one for the XTR1 that I've actually already downloaded, so we'll just use that. Um, but if, if you are ordering this rack, it looks like they're not gonna have paper instructions ready for you. So just something to be aware of if you're uh, an old school paper instruction kind of guy but i don't really care either way i'll use the digital copy but yeah so really cool guys it looks like um that's just about everything so this should be pretty simple and straightforward um that's all i really have for you guys in terms of the unboxing really the only other thing that i wanted to touch on is is really just a wait time because i think that's probably the biggest thing that i see you guys asking in the forums um so i ended up waiting about two months for mine which from what i hear that's that's pretty you know run of the mill pretty average uh there's so many people ordering these racks right now they become so popular um that there's just you know it takes them time to produce them so that's really all there is to it um i do want to make a note however though because i have seen people also ask about this and this one was kind of confusing it confused me a little bit so when you place your order for your rack in my case um obviously i did the xtr1 rack so when you place that order it's going to show up as obviously a single item. However, after you place that order, if you go and you check the status of your order, you're gonna notice that there's actually an additional item that uh, the company tacks onto your order. However, it has a $0 balance. So one of those items is gonna say um, Extrusion Overland XTR1 rack, and that's gonna be the one that has that price tag next to it that you um, you know, will are, have already paid by this point. And then the second one that has a $0 amount that gets tacked on, uh, it says something like Extrusion Kit or something like that, I don't remember exactly what it says um, but what that is is it's an additional package it gets tacked on to every single rack order um, from extrusion overland and as far as i understand it uh, that's going to be just the the kit of the actual extrusion bars and then the hardware is the one that ships as the extrusion overland uh, xtr1 bed rack kit and i think the reason that they do that is just to kind of split it up because the the bars and the hardware obviously they ship them separately just because of the way that they ship the bars 
um, you know, bundled up as they do. There's no room for hardware to go in with the bar, so they have to create a second order. So I think that's why they do it that way. Um, but I have seen a lot of confusion about why, um, you know, I order this and I, I pay this amount. And now there's a second item tacked onto my order that I didn't order. Well, that's what that item is. It's just them splitting it up into two separate shipments. So anyway, guys, um, hopefully showing you guys this, um, showing you how it's packaged, how it's shipped, uh, talking about the wait time a little bit. Hopefully that helps you guys out uh, with answering some of those questions that you had. So lots of big things coming up here, obviously. Um, the very next video and what I'm actually about to start filming right now is gonna be the assembly and installation process of the rack onto the Maverick. Um, we're gonna get that set up and then we're gonna do the installation video of that tent on the truck. And all of this stuff is going to be happening tonight and tomorrow morning. So we're gonna be packing a lot of stuff and a lot, and a lot of uh, content creation into uh, the next day or so. And then the following day, uh, the reason that we're, we're so pressed for time getting all the stuff on the truck is the wife and I are actually gonna be taking the truck on a road trip all the way up to North Carolina. We're gonna be gone for about seven days. Uh, we're gonna be driving up through the mountains, spending a couple days in North Carolina, and then we're gonna be taking the mountain way back uh, through Tennessee and then down into Northern Georgia. And I've got a campsite booked along the Tacoa River. We're gonna be camping and utilizing the rooftop tent and the extrusion overland bed rack for the very first time getting it all test out so in order to make that happen i have to get all this stuff done and get it on the truck so i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here but that's all the stuff that you guys can look forward to um, hopefully you're as excited as i am hopefully this video helped you out and make sure you guys check back here very soon for all the rest of the stuff that we just talked about but otherwise thank you guys so much and we'll see you on the next one